Boom. Hey, Internet. Um, got a good question from my man, Vin Foda Win. And uh, he's been on my channel for a while, so um, shout out to you, Vin, uh, for keeping posted on everything. So he's on his path. He's probably a little bit farther than the average um, brand or person launching a brand on the channel. But uh, he's trying to do everything direct to customer, um, 100%. And so his question is, uh, if I could talk about some major factors to overcome on a logistical standpoint. And thank you for the the detail um, in the question. So I like that you're going uh, direct to customer, by the way. I'm, I'm glad that you've, you've dedicated to that path. Uh, I think um, I was just speaking to a brand about this um, from Rhode Island literally the other night. But uh, reconciling your costs for shipping, right? So logistics in general is going to be a big part of the business, right? So if, if you're able to get a lot of customers from the web, which is amazing because you have that entire margin, um, but what does suck is trying to figure out um, your shipping cost, right? So it, even if you do the whole thing where like if you order over uh, $70 or $100 you get free shipping or something like that, um, you have to figure out your kind of system for all of that because if you do get the success, then now you have um, a new problem, which is a good problem, but um, fulfillment, right? It's, it's, it's pick and ship all day. Um, sometimes it's onesie, twosie items. Uh, but that is a, a, a bigger concern when you're going direct to customer. Um, so what I told the brand that, that I was consulting with is just go, especially in the beginning, just go with the cheapest route. So. Um, I would just go with with bags, you know, j just the way you get things if you order them from eBay, um, uh, anything, just just kind of plastic bags if if it's a shirt, uh, uh, I think will be fine. Um, if they're poly bagged, then you, you should be okay in terms of protecting the garment, um, and just going with you know, UPS, U.S. Postal System. Um, I'm not mad at people who don't ship international in the beginning, uh, because. Again, you just want to get started selling items. You just want to sell. So even if you kept it domestic, um, selling in the United States, or if you're in the UK, you sell just in the UK, just getting familiar with all of that in, in, in moving product. Um, because when you get to the point where you have to start selling you know, outside of your country, that's a good problem. That's a, that's a great problem. So um, yeah, I think uh, that's my answer, uh, that attacking uh, the fulfillment part of it to your customer uh, and trying to get a system down for it and whenever you're clicking on this there's gonna be new things available right um, so so moving from UPS to FedEx I mean there's plus and minuses with with everything and the cool thing is when you start getting to that that mid-level you start really selling product and becoming a real company is you know they're gonna vibe they're gonna come and try to get your business so uh, when, once you start having you know people wanting to manage your shipping or getting your your shipping business that means you're doing good numbers um, in any case then I hope that helps I hope that helps everybody in the community if you guys have any questions anything kind of uh, came to you that you want to talk about drop it all down below follow the kid on social media when you get a chance I'm gonna see you guys on the next video peace